I apologize for the poor quality of the pictures in this video. I don't know how to fix that yet. Jera White and I suppose some other moon hoax conspiracy theorists need more evidence that stars don't show up in space photos when other bright objects are in the field. He says there is a Gemini 8 photo which shows stars. So let's look at several Gemini 8 pictures and see if we can find any. Evidently the 60 pictures I showed in my video weren't enough to convince him. None yet that I can see. Even this picture of the Agena craft very far away is bright enough to require an exposure that is too fast to pick up stars. Could he be talking about this from a later Gemini mission? I hope not. Nah, I'm sure he knows that's only lens flare from the sun, which is just outside the frame on the upper left. Well, that's all the Gemini 8 photos I found on the gallery site I downloaded these from. How about in other Gemini missions? I still don't see any. Even if moon hoax conspiracy theorists did find a couple of photos that show stars, so what? The overwhelmingly vast majority of them don't. Finding one or two out of many thousands does not mean we should expect to see stars in Apollo photos. I don't see how anyone could fail to understand that this utterly debunks the no stars evidence that the Apollo missions were faked. And let's remember their hero Bill Casing considered it the strongest evidence against NASA. If the strongest evidence is that weak, and this was a court case, it would never have even made it to trial. So forget about any jury being out. It was never impaneled in the first place. There is no case or controversy here, just crazy, stubborn people. I'll continue to allow these pictures to recycle again, just in case we missed something, while I finish the narration. The question really becomes just how stubborn and egotistical are some people capable of being when confronted with irrefutable proof that they are wrong. The only way the hoax believers can escape the obvious conclusion here is to claim that NASA rubbed out all the stars in all these thousands of photographs and somehow in all of their live video transmissions from the shuttle and the space station. Now that Jera has referred us to the Gemini archives, I should point out that all these photos were taken before the Apollo missions. Were they erasing stars even then in order to make the absence of stars in the Apollo missions more believable? Conspiracy theorists cling to this so-called evidence despite the fact that the reason for the absence of stars is well understood. It's simply a matter of exposure. They're not bright enough. All those pictures of the moon taken from the earth also show no stars. Have all those photographers been in on the hoax? Just how absurd are some people willing to look in order to defend discredited evidence.